Larry Ellison in full Lawrence Joseph Ellison, American businessman and entrepreneur who was co-founder and chief executive officer of the software company Oracle Corporation. His mother, Florence Spellman, was a 19-year-old single parent. After he had a bout of pneumonia at the age of nine months, she sent him to Chicago to live with her aunt and uncle. Lillian and Louis Ellison, who adopted the child, yet attended the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign from 1962 but dropped out in 1964 shortly after Lillian's death. He had been very close to his adoptive mother but had a much more difficult relationship with Louis, who often told him that he would never amount to anything. Larry then briefly attended the University of Chicago in 1966. He went to California and he spent the next several years as a computer programmer for various companies. Beginning in 1973, he worked at the electronics company Ampex. There he met fellow programmer Ed Oates and was supervised by Bob Miller. Ellison left Ampex in 1976 and later joined Precision Instruments, where he was vice president of research and development. In 1977, Ellison joined Miller and Oates to form software development laboratories, which was created to do contract programming for other companies. Ellison wanted SDL to do more. In 1979, the company released Oracle, the earliest commercial relational database program to use a structured query language, and the versatile data database program quickly became popular. Known for innovation and aggressive marketing, the company renamed Oracle Systems Corporation in 1982 after its flagship product grew rapidly throughout the 1980s, going public in 1986. In 1987, Oracle became the largest database management company in the world. However, in 1990, an internal audit conducted in the wake of shareholders' lawsuit to reveal that Oracle had overstated its earnings and the company's stock plunged dramatically. Allison restructured Oracle's management and by the end of 1992, the company had returned to financial health. In the mid-1990s, Ellison saw an opportunity to compete with Microsoft Corporation by developing chief alternative to the desktop personal computer called the network computer. Ellison later admitted that the NC was technologically premature. Ellison had more success with his early embrace of the internet. Oracle developed products that were compatible with worldwide web technologies which helped the company to grow. In the early 2000s, Allison started Oracle with an aggressive strategy of buying rival software companies. Dozens of acquisitions were made, including multi-billion dollar purchases of PeopleSoft, Seable, and Sun Microsystems. Allison was one of the Silicon Valley's most divisive figures, being both admired for his great success and deplored for his sometimes ruthless business methods and his consumption. He was an avid yachtsman who founded a team that won prestigious America's Cup in 2010. In 2012, Ellison bought 98% of the Hawaiian island of Lanai. That year, it was estimated that his fortune was worth about $40 billion, making him the sixth richest person in the world and the third richest American. In September 2014, Ellison stepped down as CEO of Oracle, though he remained involved with the company, serving as executive chairman and chief technology officer.